Hey everybody, this is Alpha Zero at your service. I'm going to do a review on the new episode of One Piece that just came out today. Now, this episode gave me some kind of feels, and it had some good progression overall. I appreciate, you know, and overall this episode was probably like, um, a good matchup or a good thing to like, um, understand, you know, um, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty good, I mean, in my, in my own eyes, in my, in my own eyes, you know, but overall, like, um, when I looked at this episode, I did not realize, like, um, it'd be that, um, kind of crazy with its progression and seeing how, like, um, it could be a little, like, um, give me those One Piece feels, like, um, like, how you feel for it, you know, but in my eyes, I think it was pretty good, you know, but maybe in others it may not, but. I understand you guys' opinion and reasoning, but, um, if anything else, um, I think you should give this episode a watch if you, like, um, like One Piece and like those other feels or something. Well, if anything else, just like, get started. Okay, we have many people still dropping into, like, um, the toy junk, the junkyard of toys, you know, and later on, they end up fight one soldier who's been very dutiful to the King Riku, he ends up bowing to him, and he's been looking for him everywhere, but he, but the guy who... And King Reek, the former king king of Dressrosa, says, I'm no longer a king, you know, don't call me that anymore. Then other soldiers and other peop other toys are, like, bowing down to him. But other people saying, like, because of King Rico, what he's done, like, there's been chaos and war lately. He's the one I've been keeping the peace around, which is a good thing, which I appreciate, you know. But later on, this slimy, sticky stuff came out of nowhere, grabbed uh, one of Chin Chao's grandsons, and his brother tries to get him, Chin Chao tries to get him, and he, Chin Chao says, Hey, let him go, I'm gonna carry my freaking anger to the end of your damn grandchildren. Then <laughs> they have to let go, and then that grandson ends up being turned into a toy, which really sucks ass, no offense. And then he's forced to work like, um, like he can't move his own body, like his own will. And, of course, like, um, uh... There was a scene about, like, um, the history of Tantata Dwarves, which really struck me hella hard. Seeing how the dwarves are just being captured, and when the Don Quixote family comes in, they torture these dwarves to death to, like, um, to slavery, you know? And it was real ugly. And when King Riku took over, um, he, he gave the dwarves the freedom, and he apologized on his knees, and they say, if you need anything you want, you take it, you know? That, go ahead and take it. I mean, it's no longer... As a as a as a payment or trying to make up for what happened to you, and that's the reason why I show why many watches wallets are stolen, and then Zoro sword gets taken, you know that kind of thing. And by that time, yeah. Then another history when Don Quixote came over, which is Doflamingo, everything turned to a living hell again for them. Like many doors get captured, including the Tantara's um leader um granddaughter or something, you know. And then the toy soldier ends up explaining to the, to to everyone like um yeah this is what happened and Frank is all like crying and he like, says I can't believe he actually been nice to these warm people and they go like, what the hell did you say and I was laughing hell hard right there and he says in a good way and they go like, ah okay that's fine <laughs> they went like that's pretty hilarious like really really hilarious in a way and by that time when toy soldier says like when they see a picture when they see a TV they Realize like um, Rebecca's being dissed on, you know, and the Toy Story explains to everything like Doflamingo wants to kill every Rico blood member, you know, every bloodline, you know, that kind of thing. But they managed to capture Rebecca and they put her as a model of the Coliseum, which is a pain in the ass for her, you know. And right now, like um, he explains that I am Rebecca's father, and that's the end of it. Okay, there are some other things I might have talked about too, but I only went to the important points, such as the Tontada Doors history and. And the uh, toy toy machine toy junkyard turning toy is you know that kind of thing because it's best to like understand that because we don't because you all understand is gonna know what's going on you know this will be the end of my review right now I need to go catch up with Annie Divine right now and I'm kind of very very late on that so if anything else I'll see y'all next time I'm out with zero people later peace out bye.